Hello friends. I have a Honda problem. It's really not a problem, it's an addiction. And this isn't even all of them. I'm not a cruiser guy at all, but um, I really like this bike. Of all of my bikes, this one gets the most attention. And Honda didn't put that red, white, and blue paint job on many bikes. Usually they're pretty special. Uh, think of, uh, goes back to the Bubba Schobert days, I think. My Africa Twin is also the red, white, and blue. But let's take a look at what I've got here. I'm new to the VFR game, and I wish that I wasn't because they are marvelous machines. Um, it's like having an RC45 for $4,000. I know the purists are not, not going to like that, but they are wonderful bikes. They've got all the cool sounds, um, a most, you know, very, very mechanical with the gear driven cams. So this one here is a 2000. I kind of call it my hot rod. It's got a two brothers slip on period. Correct. And, uh, it's got the rim stripes. Someone removed the original decals and my friend Jeff put the moon eyes on there, but it's kind of my hooligan bike. It's got 20,000 miles on it, but gosh, is it nice? And it's great for a two up. So, and this is a 94 VFR. Kind of looks in our 750-ish a little bit, right? It fools some people, you know, from a distance for 10 or 15 seconds, but it's really cool, I think. Probably the bike I've had one of the longest in my collection is the Superhawk. I've got about almost 3,000 miles on that one, and um, it's a hoot. I'd love to have a black one with the gold rims, but I don't need any more bikes. And let's see, got the RC51. This is a 3,000 mile original. That's how I prefer my bikes. I like the um, rear fender unaltered. I like the stock turn signals, um, maybe some really high-end cans exhaust, you know, is really nice, but I like them bone stock, factory fresh. Of course, the Smoke and Joes, that spike still looks good to this day. And uh, the original owner had gotten, let's see if I can get over here, got me well to sign it one year squeeze in here. Got Miguel Duhamel to sign it one year at Daytona, which is kind of neat. My tag says Miggy17, which was Miguel's uh, nickname. A lot of, lot of cool history there. And it's just a great bike to ride. It's got 20,000 miles on it. I swear, you, you ride it, you think it's got... Uh, you know, no miles. It's these Hondas, it just, they don't get bad. They just get better and better. The 919, do you remember the slogan that Honda used for these? It was what, uh, what AMI, what AMA super bike tuners ride on the weekends or, or during the week maybe, when they weren't tuning for people like Miguel Duhamel and Curtis Roberts, Nikki Hayden. These bikes, I don't know, it's it's my favorite. This will probably be one of the final bikes. I'm 58 now. Um, I got it with zero miles back in 07. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, it's an 07. I got it with zero miles probably four or five years ago. It's got about 1600 on it now. But that's when the CBR 900 went to 919 motor and that's what they use. But all day comfort with these uh, bars, just a great bike. Here's one a lot of people never knew Honda made, but they made a super motard. We all wish they'd make a 450 motard, you know, from the factory, 450L. I know there's kits and all, but this is the one that we got in America. It's a 230M. It's a really cool little bike. And again, it's unaltered in any way, low mileage. And you can just fly on this bike, you know, in the mountains and stuff. Maybe the elevation might kill that small motor a little bit, but it's kind of neat. GB500, these things pull crazy money. This one is no exception. It's a, it's a thousand mile original. And it's just as pristine as can be. 
Um, I've got the cover for it. It's at home to protect it. But 100% uh, bone stock except for the um, tires. Starts and rides and just never, never, ever fails me. Um, I wanted to get another one because, you know, the value of these are crazy. I mean, this bike would pull $10,000 fairly easy. And I didn't want to kill the value on it, but I still wanted to ride it. So I bought a friend of mine, uh, Jeff, I bought his. And uh, he didn't do these modifications. It looks kind of stock, right? But it's not. But the modifications of this make it much nicer, in my opinion, than this one, you know. It's got the Jack Baston exhaust. It's got the progressive shocks. It's got the progressive, um, um, what is it called? Uh, the uh, emulsioners, is that what I'm looking for? And the springs inside here. A little firmer ride. It's got a little bikini fairing. I have all the stock parts. I can turn it back to stock. Uh, they even went as far as, check out this tail. This is made to look like the original but it's, I don't know if it's real carbon, but it's its beautiful. The camera's not working because the lighting is really bad. And he did a smaller, uh, he got rid of the really huge uh, uh, tail light and uh, they put a smaller one in there. Whoever did this, thank you. You did a great job. Um, and it's just as spotless as that one there. Um, here's, um, you know, I was going to show you, I don't have the keys to it now, but this one's got 13,000 miles on it. And the VIN number, I can't get through it, is wearing away a little bit. That little sticker in there, if you know what I'm talking about. And it's a great way to check mileage on a bike. That one that has 1,000 miles on it is uh, still like new. All right, let's get off the GBs because I'll talk all day about those. Uh, I don't have many non-Hondas, but I do have this... Um, R1 LE 2006 Yamaha's 50th anniversary. This one just hit a thousand miles. It's kind of cool. They limited them to 500. This one is number 23. I don't know if that camera will pick it up. Um, hey, Michael Jordan, are you listening? Number 23, I know you love your motorcycles and you've got some cool ones. This one would be available. And it came with the Olin's forks, rear shock, and the Marchesini uh, rims. Hey, if a motorcycle came from the factory with gold rims, I'm buying it. I just love it. My Africa Twins got the gold rims, too. Pretty neat bike. Really, really clean. And I'll tell you, um, having just, I recently sold it, but I had the CBR 1000 SP2. And, um, this bike, other than the electronics that it's lacking that the SP2 had, as far as acceleration, it's crazy. I also had the entire CBR collection from 900, 929, 954, and I recently gave them new ownership down at JM Honda. He's going to take care of them and put them in the showroom and eventually have a little museum set up. Here's an oddball of a bike, kind of. Maybe, it can, unless you own one, it's a 2015... BMW G650 GS, and that is the Rotax 650 single water cooled. This bike is better. I'm gonna I'm gonna really make some people mad here. It's better than the DR650. It's better than the XR650 L, and it's better than the KLR. Yeah, I know. I'm a Honda guy too. It's really not. You know, I love all those bikes. I've owned all of those bikes. But this bike is kind of cool. You know, it's got really top quality rims, you know, front and rear. It has uh, came with a center stand. I'm comparing with the bikes I just mentioned, had uh, has Brembo brakes. It's water cooled, so it's got more performance. It has uh, heated grips. It's got flashers. This is all factory. Um, stainless steel brakes analog brakes. I put this on. This is for my BMW navigation system that clips on. Um, and I got a little cruise control for it, the little Keikos. Oh, and it's got this dual exhaust system here. 
this one, nothing comes out of here. As you can see, that's clean as a bell. But I think what this is, is kind of like the catalytic converter because it's got a crossover tube underneath there. See how that goes into this one? But it's cool. I would, I like the dual exhaust. I wouldn't mind having uh, an aftermarket system, but they get rid of uh, this one over here when they do the aftermarket. Oh, and it comes with, um, you know, a little carrying compartment down here. And um, it's got the luggage that goes on there. So it's a cool little bike, you know. For what it's worth, I probably couldn't get a whole lot, but I've owned it since new. And uh, it's just one of those little bikes, you know, if I ever could get up to Tail of the Dragon again, it's a lot of fun, especially taking those off-roads and, you know, along the Chirahala Skyway, the back road, you know, the dirt road. But, all right, just uh, what's in your garage? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm starting to make some of these videos. I'm not very good at it. I'm really kind of doing it for myself that I can reflect on what I had and one day when I, maybe I can't ride or something, but I'm not getting much feedback from you guys, so I'll learn to edit and do a better job. But tell me what's in your garage because it really doesn't matter. They're all a lot of fun. Okay, I will talk to you guys next video. Talk to you later.